let's talk about the uh, eight dimensions of uh, wellness. Uh, could you explain more about that to us? Because I, I looked that up the other day. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, I stole it from you. <laughs> and I stole it from about four other people that I follow on online. And it's always, yeah. I keep, I, ha I, I got the diagram mm -hmm. in like five different um, types of the diagram. Yeah. And uh, you explain that to them. Yeah, so self-care is another buzzword, right? Everyone is talking about, oh, you got to take care of yourself, self-care, self-care, self-care. And I, I'm all for it. My practice is called Me For Me, mm -hmm. and that really means, like, yo, you need to be for yourself. You need to take care of yourself. You can't pour into others unless you're filling yourself up, right? So my practice is based on self-care. And to take a holistic look at self-care, I use the eight dimensions of wellness as the foundation. So a lot of times when people think about self-care, the first thing they say is, yo, I need to go on vacation, <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh, I need to eat better. I need to work out. And then they wonder why they still feel... Mental, they don't take care yeah. of that part. Yeah. They, they still feel like drained or overwhelmed or nothing is changing. And oftentimes it's because they're focused on one aspect of self. Mm. So when you think about the eight dimensions, it's focused on the physical. It focuses on the emotional, right? Mm. You're taking the care of your emotional well-being. It focuses on the, fo the, the social, like we thrive in community and whatever your community looks like, sometimes you need that, right? Mm -hmm. So ensuring that you're taking care of yourself and fostering and maintaining those connections with people that you feel safe with, that you could pour into and that could pour into you, right? It takes place at the financial. Like, I don't know about other people, but if I'm broke, I'm sad. <laughs> All right, <laughs> so <laughs> financial self-care is a thing as well, making sure that you're living within your means, you're budgeting, you're, you're taking care of the necessity, you have a little bit for the wants, right? Because um, self-care can be expensive depending on what that looks like for you, right? The environmental piece, like how are you connecting to nature, the environment, right? Sometimes it might be peaceful to just go sit on the beach. Sometimes it might be peaceful to go stand in the rain. Like how are you connecting with nature, right? So the eight dimensions really go into that the occupational self-care. A lot of people are their jobs. Like, their job is their life, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of people talk about work-life balance. I call it life-work balance because work is just a piece of your life. It's not yeah. the entire thing, right? Um, how are you taking care of that? How are you balancing the occupational with the personal, right? Is work taking up too much time? So setting those boundaries. So the eight dimensions just really remind us that self-care is not just this physical, I'm a workout, I'm a change my diet thing. It's really ensuring that you're taking care of all aspects of yourself and taking an assessment of, yo, where am I doing well? Mm -hmm. And where am I not, what am I neglecting? And how can I be more intentional about taking care of that part of myself? So how many people come to you with the, the thought that um, self-care is working out eating better, oh gosh. but not taking care of anything else. A lot of people, because <laughs> that's what social media shows, right? When you look at all these pages that talk about self-care, it's always, oh, I'm a meal prep. I'm going to go to the gym. Mm -hmm. You don't see a lot of people talking, unless it's like financial literacy. Oh, you don't see a lot of people talking about budgeting and maintaining your finances. You don't see, uh, unless it's in the relationship realm, you don't see a lot of people talking about maintaining and fostering healthy relationships. So we kind of disconnect those things, right? Mm -hmm. When we think about self-care, we think about only the physical eating and working out and whatever, taking vacations, which is all great, getting a massage, right? But those, that spiritual piece, like what does spirituality look like for you? How are you feeding that spiritual side of you, mm -hmm. right? It's all holistic. Like our finances aren't separate from us. Mm -hmm. right? Our mental isn't separate from our, our physical being. They're all intertwined. And if we're only taking care of one area and neglecting the next, nothing is going to change. Yeah. So most of the time when people uh, have that conversation with you and let's say their finances in is good, uh, their mental might be mm -hmm. okay, uh, but their um, physical Mm -hmm. They haven't worked out and all this type of stuff. How do you how do you deal with that? Yeah, so kind of like what I said earlier with imposter syndrome, the first thing is always awareness, mm -hmm. right? So we take an assessment. So I have like a little worksheet thing that we kind of go through, and we're like, all right, let's talk about it. 
right? I ask them questions like, tell me a little bit about your day to day, right? And that's an assessment. So they'll go through like, what does it look like from the time you wake up until the time you go to bed? Mm -hmm. How are you feeling after you do certain things, right? So I help them to kind of map out, all right, that time that you're taking to practice yoga, that might help with the emotional or spiritual piece, right? Those are emotional and spiritual movements. And it can also help with the physical piece as well because the stretching and the flexibility and the strengthening of the muscles that come with yoga. So we're putting words and names to the different things that we're doing so that they can gain that awareness of, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, I've been taking care of myself in this particular way, and I didn't really say, oh, this is self-care, right? <laughs> yeah. So we take assessment. We come up with, all right, these are the areas I'm doing well in. These are the areas I want to improve. And then we make a plan for it. Mm -hmm. And we work towards that plan. That's, that's good. Mm -hmm.